Hey guys, today we are in Audi Q7 and uh, I'm going to show you how to enter the hidden menu is, uh, in this kind of an uh, infotainment system with this kind of controls. So we have the control knob over here and uh, two switches and each of them goes up or down and we need to uh, pull this one to the media state and push this one to the navigation state. And let's do it at the same time. Keep them in those in this position and wait a few seconds. And after that, we have this engineering screen and we have updates, we have system settings and information about version of the system. So let's go over here and we can see the software version over here. Let's uh, let's go back. In settings, uh, we can import on or export uh, user settings. So if you are going to replace your um, head unit, you can export your settings. Or if you have, uh, um, if you want to um, um, transfer your uh, settings to another car, you can do it this way. Let's go to the system, and we have uh, some detailed uh, information about uh, how uh, how's the system uh, software uh, running right now. Let's go back and unlock codes. We have all, all the FETS swap codes over here, so we can check if your car is equipped, for example, with uh, Upper CarPlay and uh, Android uh, uh, Android Auto, as well as the uh, as the navigation map uh, free updates um, license is over here. We can see if all of all of those licenses are legit. Let's go back and we have also update um, update menu so you can select uh, which uh, which update method you want to use to update your uh, firmware. So you can uh, select either SD card on or on USB drive. And to uh, exit this menu, you need again uh, switch those switches into media and nav at the same time. Wait a few seconds and after five seconds or so, you are back in the screen and your music playback is back on. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this simple video and uh, subscribe for future ones. See you soon.